There's a guy I've been watching on YouTube recently over the past few months and he goes by the name of Pixies Retro Game Dev Tutorials. Now he's been trying to recreate Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the Mega Drive, something that seems very impossible. But recently he shared some files which you can play on an emulator to see how well the project's going. But let's see how he's doing so far. Pixie has been hard at work trying different ideas for the Mega Drive. One that sparked my interest was a 16-bit conversion of GG Shinobi on the Game Gear. I'd recommend watching his progress video to really appreciate it. But the main one that caught my eye is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now this was a PlayStation game so downgrading this to 16-bit won't be easy and surely couldn't look that good. Will Castlevania New Generation look very good so there's hope yet. The files he's shared so far don't actually have any gameplay, but they do show off Alucard's animations. If you remember Symphony of the Night, then you'll know that there's many frames of animation to Alucard's movements. In this conversion there aren't as many, but more than enough to make it look very impressive. The colours look great and the scenery looks top notch. There's some great parallax scrolling, and even the snow changes direction when you do. music sounds brilliant too, but it's all got to fit onto a Mega Drive cartridge which will be interesting considering all these great sprites and scenery has to fit on there too. Who are you? Pixie. What is it you want? I'm making Symphony of the Night for the Mega Drive. It seems that your power is insufficient. Don't worry, Edicard. The Mega Drive has more than enough blast processing to handle it. It seems so. What are you doing here? I've come to destroy this castle. Oh, rats. Um, about that. I'm not quite finished yet. Would you mind coming back in maybe ten years? What? Okay, okay, not ten years. How about this? Come back next year, same time, and we'll see how far we've gone by then, okay? Hmm, I suppose so. Excellent. Well, Merry Christmas, Adikard, and I'll see you next year. Farewell. I'm looking forward to this being complete, and maybe get a physical copy one day. But with all that excitement out of the way, you can relax and play his version of the Squid Games. It's basic, yet funny. Judging by the work so far, this looks like it's going to be an epic game, and I hope he does really well in completing it. The graphics look amazing, and the, the animation looks amazing. It all looks so good so far. But does it fit on a whole Mega Drive cartridge? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. <laughs> 